Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research, and this is your morning market update for Thursday, December 8th. Stocks on Wall Street are losing ground in early trading, despite a strong reading on the labor market. Investors instead continue to focus on Europe and its latest monetary policy move. As expected, the European Central Bank cut its key lending rate by a quarter percentage point to 1%. It's the ECB's second interest rate cut in two months as policymakers try to reduce borrowing costs for nations struggling to meet their debt obligations. However, in his monthly news conference, ECB President Mario Draghi did not announce any further measures aimed at shoring up liquidity for European banks. He did reiterate that, quote, a new fiscal compact is the most important precondition for restoring the normal functioning of the financial markets. That fiscal compact may center on a new EU treaty that would force member nations to write tougher deficit rules into their constitutions and automatically sanction violators. France and Germany have been pushing for that change. But Germany is likely to reject another plan that the central bank has supported, allowing the existing Eurozone Rescue Fund to remain in operation even after a new 500 billion euro facility comes online next year. Draghi has indicated that if European leaders are able to agree on new steps to address the debt crisis at their summit in Brussels tomorrow, the ECB may expand its bond buying program in order to keep interest rates from spiraling out of control in Italy, Spain and other countries. However, the central bank may face some technical hurdles to providing that help. This morning, Draghi said that the current EU treaty prohibits monetary financing. All that news out of Europe seems to be overshadowing the latest data on jobless claims here in the U.S. Just 381,000 Americans filed for first-time unemployment benefits last week, the fewest since late February. That was a drop of 23,000 from the upwardly adjusted level of the previous week. The four-week average of new claims, a more accurate gauge of employment trends, also fell to just above 393,000. Economists view any number below 400,000 as a sign of faster job creation and stronger economic growth but they say claims will have to remain below that level for an extended period to indicate a truly healthy pace of hiring. Turning to corporate news, we're keeping an eye on shares of Apple this morning. They're rising about 1% after UBS boosted its first quarter profit guidance for the company. UBS also lifted a testament for iPhone sales in the first quarter, from 28 million to 30 million. An analyst action is also moving shares of Halliburton. The oil field services firm is gaining 2%, after it was added to Goldman Sachs's conviction buy list. Overall, Goldman views the sector as attractive and placed buy ratings on Baker Hughes, Transocean, and Weatherford International. And finally, we have a deal in the technology sector to tell you about. IBM is buying the cloud computing firm DemandTech for about $440 million. The price tag is a 57% premium to DemandTech's closing price yesterday, and the stock is jumping by about that much this morning. Shares of IBM are modestly lower on the news. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day.